Hey guys, thanks for tuning in again. On this one, I want to go through what I believe and probably most old school racers believe to have been the baddest race distributor ignition in the day, especially in the drag racing world. Whether it be old school dragsters, gassers, funny cars, top fuelers or early pro stockers, what I'm talking about here is the badass Vertex Magneto or Magneto race distributor in general. If you go back to the very first early days of serious drag racing action, be sure you'd find nearly most were running a Magneto as their preferred choice of ignition, supplying them fire-breathing power plants with a very high voltage current to the spark plugs as ignition. No matter what splash of fuel were entering them chambers, from pump fuel gasoline, avgas, methanol or nitro, be rest assured, they were truly and well ignited, no doubt. Just quickly though, and without getting into the nitty gritty and technical stuff of all this, a magneto, a self-contained and efficient generator of high voltage, a unit in one. As normal, um, it has a typical gear or shaft driven rotating rotor with its own high output built-in coil assembly. It includes a solid iron core, a primary coil wrapped around a couple hundred times with heavy copper wire, then a secondary coil wrapped, uh, wrapped around a hundred times of what the primary is, but of fine copper wire. Very simple, it has a hot wire connection from the primary coil to ground and a high voltage tab from the secondary coil going to the spark plugs. As the rotor magnets rotate and the uh, moment the contact points open, a rapid magnetic flow generates a high voltage in that secondary coil, sending a good 20 to 30,000 volts to them spark plugs. Now that's shockingly powerful, especially for them days. Mentioning before that um, uh, it's, you know, mentioning before that it's, it's its own generator and totally independent of its own in generating ignition. So in them early days where weight was key, it didn't rely on a heavy battery alternator with, you know, accompanying driven pulleys and belts, etc. that, um, you know, other uh, normal ignitions need in order to supply power or current. So saving weight and drag off the motor and yet providing badass spark. Um, Magnetos are well uh, over 100 years now since invented. They're, you know, they're so reliable that they're still being used today. You know, in piston-powered aircrafts that don't need a battery for electrical ignition supply. So if for any reason, um, if that aircraft's onboard electrical system fails, the engine or engines don't. They keep going as the magnet is totally independent of making its own mechanically driven power. Also used in, you know, sprint cars. Um, they're still being used in today's serious drag racing also with even more enhanced units, just like the MSD Pro Mag 44. Uh, you know, meaning 44 amps on the primary and producing 50,000 volts. A modern blown top alcohol car utilizes one of these units. As for a top fueler, they use two of these bad boys, equivalent power to welding metal together. Now, let's go back and see some uh, early day comparisons. There was points distributors that usually couldn't keep up with anything over four and a half thousand RPMs at the time. Eventually introducing the uh, electronic distributor in them early 70s times that even had an added high performance ignition module. Although these A-cell units said to have done the job, even for them high revving early pro stock days, um, used by Bob Glidden himself, uh, Gap and Roush on their Clevelands you see here, they still weren't in comparison to what a Magneto had to offer. Take a look at this vintage Vertex Magneto on this distributor machine. Spinning away and sitting steady on 9,000 RPMs with a super strong spark you can see there. Now that's just badass. Although there were some issues with um, running a Magneto is that they were taller and bulkier in the body and could interfere with certain tunnel rams and blown setups as far as clearance etc. But there were certain offset drives available to tackle them issues. Also required a Magneto compatible style ref taco that had to be used and not your average um, taco, although signal adapters are now available. Nowadays, or every part of the last two to three decades, most street and strip drag racers tend to go the electronic distributor route 
with performance coil and ignition power box for their preferred spark choice. So depending on the intended use, it's all relevant as, for ch as far as choice. Won't get into the pros and cons of both, as this video is just to recapture that cool and badass looking Magneto. I myself actually run an MSD 10 Plus on my supercharged Cleveland, the highest ignition box, uh, ignition box available by MSD that puts out 700 millijoules per spark. Now discontinued, and the equivalent replacement to it is the MSD 8 Plus, now that puts out a lesser 350 uh, millijoules. Huh. The 8 and 10 Plus are suitable especially for force induction use and are seen on, you know, 6 second and 2000 plus horsepower cars where a strong spark is, uh, is, is needed under them loaded cylinder pressures. Just the same as them early dragsters and fuelers needed a Magneto and required a strong, powerful and badass ignition spark. Thanks for tuning in, guys.